After a little bit of rough driving down Hole in the Rock Road to Egypt Trailhead, we started down a steep sandstone slab to Fence Canyon, which would lead us to the Escalante River after only a few miles. This route lacks developed trails, but rock cairns lead the way. The sun exposure and warmth of this day was offset by the dramatic snow-capped Henry Mountains in the background, a reminder of the contrasts in weather that occurred in the spring. The Grand Staircase Escalante National Monument is a region of canyons, arches, plateaus, and cliffs. For this backpacking trip, we are headed in for one night to see a remarkable sandstone feature carved out by water over eons in time. The National Monument has earned its name from the series of north to south downward sloping terraces and cliffs that traverse the region from the Colorado Plateau to the Grand Canyon. We reached the cool waters of the Escalante River during the peak heat of the day. Our route through the riparian zone led us in and out of the crystal clear river multiple times and provided us a source of refreshment. On our way down canyon, we encountered a large petroglyph panel inclusive of images more than 5,000 years old. I theorized that one series of geometric images could be a map of the surrounding area, including Neon Canyon, where we were headed. After establishing camp under a large cottonwood tree up on a bench above the junction of Escalante and Neon Canyons, we continued with our hike up Neon Canyon in the evening to go view a very special sandstone formation. Okay, this whole trip has been really cool, but there's one main feature that we came to see and we're about to check it out. The Golden Cathedral is an enormous sandstone amphitheater with an overhanging roof perforated with three large skylights. To most, it would seem that this is a dead end with no canyon beyond this point. 
However, Neon Canyon can be explored from the top down by adventurous and skilled canyoneering teams, with their last rappel directing them through the skylights of the Golden Cathedral. A lot of miles, but we were seven and a half hours, I think. So that's, that's a decent amount of time. <laughs> 